folks, Russell here of RWA Fishing. Well, today, after work, I decided I'm going to break in my new hip waders. <laughs> Since uh, we barely have to go uh, not too far above the knee in these waters. And we're going to work the pad field a little bit more. Um, I know a lot of them are on beds. If I see a couple of beds, I may make a few casts. I'm not going to waste too much time trying to get them to bite. Uh, for a couple of reasons, probably because uh, they're not going to bite. <laughs> you know, I always say, if you can see the fish, they can see you. So, and uh, being that it's after work, I don't have a lot of time. So we'll just uh, see if we can concentrate on the fish they may actually be biting. So we're gonna send some stuff out and we'll see how it goes. Get him <laughs> <Get> through here. <laughs> All right, we got him, folks. <laughs> Frog bait. <laughs> All right, got him through the pads. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what, this is so much fun. When they blow up through all this vegetation and you get them through, you can't beat it. <laughs> this is about the size I expected to catch because you know, a lot of the bigger ones are on beds and they aren't biting, so I ain't gonna waste much time with them. Get the vegetation out of your mouth there. All right. All right, since we got you today, we're gonna to get get your picture because you're gonna be a star. All right, buddy, thanks for showing up. Let's get you back to doing what you're doing. There he goes. All right, we we'll make a few more casts. Let me show you the lure I'm using. This is the uh, Frog King. I think that's what the company calls themselves. It's one I got from my good buddy Spencer, the Skunk Master. Let's make a few more casts. Breaking in my new hip waders, folks. This frog casts really well, so I can cover a lot of water. The goose, goosefield neighbors are getting noisy.
They're like neighborhood dogs. Once one starts barking, they all start barking. Make one. A few more cats, just a few more cats. Whoa! That was a pretty big fish there. About middle way back from where I was casting. But he, I think he took off from that spot because I saw another wake over that way. I wonder was he going after something. Send this frog out again. Be careful not to step into any beds whether I see fish in them or not. This way and swing to the right. Now, working these pads does take a lot of time because they could be in here anywhere. So hopefully we can get on some more. I think there was a fish that made that big splash where it was just that, but I couldn't get its attention. careful about letting that line lay down once I make a cast but sometimes you just can't avoid it that makes it tough when you hook a fish and you've laid the line down it's got to work through that big curve of pads and stuff My next few casts will overlap the area that I was already in. And sometimes overlapping might help you get some spots that you missed where the bass may be laying. It's definitely a sacrifice in time, but I've hooked some nice ones doing that. Also etched in my mind all the big ones that got away. <laughs> Well, folks, that's all I got time for today. And what a way to break in my new hip waders. <laughs> we got a top water frog bite. Uh, had a big splash from another one that couldn't get its attention. So a few on beds, but normally I don't really bother them too much. You know, I like make a cast or two at them. And if they don't bite, I'll move on. You know, sometimes trying to catch bedding fish is like playing a slot machine. <laughs> you just get hooked and end up wasting a lot of time. <laughs> Hey folks, if you're new to the channel, how about hitting that subscribe button and then follow it up by the bell notification because on this channel, I have fun and you want to be part of it. <laughs> but folks, for coming out here, catching just one on the top of the frog and breaking in my new hip waders, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> but folks, thanks for watching RWA Fishing and as always, God bless you.